I'm Zulu Queen Lisa Lee, down with the Universal Zulu Nation. Okay, when I was young, about 11 years old, my father bought us drums, and we always had instruments and a record player with 45s and 33 and a third records. We bought our first uh, turntable and a mixer. Me and my brothers was in the house mixing, started writing rhymes. Showed up at a party at Junior High School 123 with Disco King Mario. Y'all old school, y'all know who that is. And DJ Africa Bambada. I asked him, can I get on the mic? Bomb. That was it. Just um, I remember uh, Mr. Biggs. He was basically one of the and a young lady named Pepsi was down with the Black Spades. They represented. They was on the microphones before I started. And I just remember um, the b boy and breakdance. And I did that before I started rapping. And having those memories of uh, breakdancing at the parties and those beats that Bam played. Um, and he still plays different beats from anybody else. His beats is you know who Africa Bam model when he plays his music because it's completely different from anybody else's. And I still those are my my favorite moments. With that. Oh, they're very supportive. They uh, tell everybody. I live in Virginia now. My son's a b-boy. He break dance down there. I just got in um, with Gorilla Will and them. They down in Virginia. Uh, they they Zulu Nation, and I just started uh, collaborating with them. So we did a uh, stretch of Zulu Nation out there. Well, I haven't had any problems of respect because Zulu Nation, they always call us queens. So we've always had respect. My biggest challenge is just trying to be heard. You know, there's so many male MCs that it's that you have to go the extra yard for them to listen to us. So you have to come with something unique, something special. I mean, when we come together like this, it, it makes you just want to keep pushing on. And I, I keep in contact with Shaw Rock, Pebbly Pool, Debbie D. You know, we support each other. And we tell each other that if we don't tell our story, nobody's going to tell it. It's not about the dollar bill no more. I, I tell them we can't walk around with a grudge. I just want to let the world know where it started because that's, that's my life. And it's important that everybody knows where it started. It didn't start in the 80s. It started in the 70s. You know, so you got to deep dig, you got to deep dig deep, go back further. And that's what we're here to just let everybody know. And Tito helps us with that. Devastating Tito brings us to the front all day. Cornell University, I'm up in Cornell University with my legacy, telling about my hip hop. I'm out in William and Mary in Virginia. They, I just did an audio where the kids could go online. They teaching a course out there on hip hop. You can go online and listen to my audio and a picture of me telling my experience in hip hop in my early days with the Zulu Nation. Um, and I tell my story anybody, anytime anybody listens to me.